The video you're about to see is making its way around town. The woman behind it is Ellen Saracini, a 9-11 widow. She produced the video with the help of airline employees. They're trying to show lawmakers a hijacker can overcome the flight crew and penetrate the cockpit, she claims, in less than two seconds. Here's the video. All right, well, as disturbing as that video was, it is a dramatization. The food cart, which is used to block the cockpit, it seems to disappear at one point, presenting no obstacle at all. So we can't necessarily take it as fact that this is an accurate depiction of how easy it is to get into a cockpit. The video was shot and produced on a plane that was parked. Uh, no passengers were on Great board. Renee, thank you. Uh, Ellen Saracini is here in this Situation Room right now. Uh, Let's talk about this video. Why did you decide to do this? Because nobody is moving quick enough. It's 13 years later, um, and we seem now to have uh, airlines. We had one airline, United Airlines, had pr installed these secondary barriers on their air a lot of their aircraft. Um, now the, the merger happened between United and Continental. Uh, the new CEO has decided to remove the secondary barriers from the oncoming aircraft, and this sets a dangerous precedent. Uh, we have our airline companies that are minimally complying with what is recommended by the TSA for procedures and by removing the secondary barrier the only thing that is proven to protect the cockpit when the, during those times when the door is open uh, if that is being removed from the aircraft we have no um, form of protection during that time. And, and you don't think open. that that beverage cart that they place in the aisle over there and the flight attendants stand behind it while the pilot walks out may go to the, uh, the, the laboratory or whatever and then they close the door you don't think that's good enough? Well, you tell me whether that's good enough. That was just depicted. That's the most robust form of protection that the airlines have. And the, um, the uh, cart did not disappear. The cart was pushed over. The carts are top heavy. They are easy to move. That cart was pushed over, and so was the flight attendant by one of the intruders. And the second intruder just went right into the cockpit. So basically what you're saying is when uh, they saw the pilot walk out, they stormed that cart and they just ran over the cart and got into the cockpit? Absolutely, and that's what the study results showed. They showed that 100% of the time the cockpit door was protected once the secondary barrier was installed and, and, and up. Uh, but using the most robust form of protection that the airlines have, which is the cart and the flight attendant, the cockpit was able to be breached in under two seconds. Uh, and who, so who prepared this video for you? How did it walk us through the process? Well, the FAA um, requested and commissioned the RTCA um, to do a study. It involved the FAA, the TSA, um, airline companies, uh, Boeing, security experts, the CIA, the FBI. Um, this study is now completed and came out with these results. <clears throat> um, moving forward, um, we have gone and now we need legislation. Um, the legislation has to happen because none of the airlines are complying with the best uh, method in order to protect the cockpit. And through legislation, we're hoping to make sure that the cockpits um, and, get And I'm sure you're doing barriers. this in memory of Victor, your husband, who was that pilot on 9-11. Yes, and 2,973 others who Among are not others, here with yeah. us today.